Welcome to Sportlink TV and it's the second half of the Sportlink Grand Prix series now. We've had a little bit of a break but we're back and summer is most definitely here. Our hosts tonight, Harling Athletics Club and Lotus Cars. Yes, we're here at Hethel HQ, the headquarters of one of the most iconic brands ever to have come from British sport. Going to get to racing in a few minutes though, but first it is competition time. Yes, and it's a big one. We've got a pair of shoes uh, for you to win and we've got a pair for the men and a pair for the women as well and the brand that's bringing our competition tonight is one that you may not be overly familiar with but they are pretty iconic in the world of running shoes of course lotus here dominated formula one throughout the 60s and 70s but kahu from finland they dominated long distance running throughout the 50s and the 60s the 1952 olympics uh, was so iconic in fact that the logo that was on kahu's shoes three little stripes so impressed a certain Mr. Addy Dassler that he bought the brand and put it on his own shoes. Kahu as well were the first manufacturer ever to put an air pocket in their shoes, a little idea that made its way to a certain company in Oregon, USA. Yes, and we'll have more about the 1952 Olympics, but let's just say that one of the greatest feats in distance running that's never been matched was achieved in a pair of Kahu shoes. But we'll tell you how you can win some later on. First though, let's get to uh, Race HQ and find out how preparations are going for tonight's Lotus Test Track 10K. Well, here we are just ahead of the start of the race. Um, with me, having just picked up his number, is a, a bit of a running legend, uh, Tommy Hughes here. Um, uh, now, just uh, I, I say you're a running legend. You had a bit of an achievement in the last couple of years. Just, uh, just to tell the viewers what that was, Tommy. Yeah, well, I broke the world record for the over 60s, which is uh, two hours, 30 minutes, uh, two seconds for the marathon. Uh, and then uh, last year, around two hours, 30 minutes and five seconds as well. So uh, I'm trying to break that two hours 30 to be the first 60 in the world to go under 2.30 in the marathon. But also me and my son Owen has the world record for parent and child which for the marathon, which we set in Frankfurt in 2019. And in between that time as well, I've got world records for a single age categories for 10k, five, uh, half marathons and marathons and 15ks so I kind of try to break these marathons as I get older so <laughs> it keeps me, uh, keeps me ticking over and keeps me occupied and yeah. We're getting closer to the gun now, but uh, down here at the Sportlink store, and Mark Armstrong's here with us from, from Sportlink. Mark, you're in charge of all the digital marketing, uh, the Facebook posts and Instagram reels and everything like that for, for, uh, for Sportlink. So you've really got a kind of almost that direct touch to the, the running community. Now we're talking a bit about Kahu tonight. The, we've got a competition this week. They're the competition prize. You can win a pair of Kahu shoes towards the end of the video. Um, those are a brand that you've been posting about this week uh, on, on the Sportlink Facebook page. Uh, what's the reaction been like? Because it's a brand that not a lot of people necessarily know straight away. Well, that's it, and I think that's what that's what Sportlink prides itself on. It. I mean, we, we do obviously stock all the big boys like your New Balances, your Hoka, uh, obviously Saucony, and people like that. But it, uh, we feel it's really important to sort of open people's eyes to other brands as well, which are, who are producing like really, really good good shoes like Kahu, like True Motion, and Kahu. There's, there's some really nice some really nice shoes in in, in their range. And what a lot of people don't seem to know is that they've actually got a, a, a lot of pedigree sort of in, in the running scene. They've been around for over 100 years and, yeah, made some pretty good shoes in that time. Well, thank you, Mark. Just about time to get over and chat to the race director now ahead of the start of things here. James Grantham with me now, the race director, just not too far until the start now. Uh, what a wonderful partnership here you've got with Lotus Cars. What a unique place to, to run a race from. Let me Tell me Thanks. how this partnership came about. Uh, well, actually working at Lotus at the moment, so that, that helps. And uh, yeah, this is the, the third time we've, uh, we've run the, uh, the event. And this time uh, Lotus have got, really got involved and they're supporting us um, and so, sort of sponsoring it, the event as well. So uh, it's um, really good. And you can see they've put some press cars out with us and we've got some cars around the track for uh, some older ones as well for people to uh, have a look at when they're running around. Yeah, but beautiful and something for yeah. everyone as well. Yeah. Uh, the 10K is the reason we're here for the Sportlink Grand yes. Prix, uh, but you, it's, it's the whole evening of races tonight, isn't it? Exactly. We've got a 
two and a half kilometre circuit. So we're using it um, to do a two and a half K for the juniors, a five K uh, for uh, seniors or anyone over um, 13, I think. Um, uh, and that's a, there's a team event in that as well, as individuals, and the 10K as well. So they're all going around the same track, but a uh, different number of laps. Well, it turns out the sun really cooled down in the end. Still a bit warm on the tarmac out there for racing, but actually conditions were pretty good on the most part. But I think some people still struggled because the sun really was still beating down out there. We've had 10K and 5K runners out on the course at the same time. So a really busy track. And some of the technical windy bits around there uh, really might have held some people up who are hoping for a slightly faster race. Uh, but it made for interesting racing. Let's chat to some of the finishers.
Well, fresh from the prize, giving the men's category winner, Carl Brooks, with me now. Carl, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, do you expect to come in first tonight? Definitely not. Um, seeing the calibre of the guys at the front and knowing how quick some of them are and, and how such good form they're in, uh, surprised. I hope top five, so to be a win is, yeah, it's really surprising, but fantastic. How, how's that time in, in terms of your personal best? Um, it's up there, so 33, uh, 33 40s fastest, so only about 20 seconds off that, but obviously weaving in now is a little bit slower and the lots of turns on the course, lots of really tight turns. Uh, so PB pace, not time, but yeah, really happy with that. Yeah, I mean, for a track course, actually not as fast as you no, might not think. So much, not so much, <laughs> but good one. It's still a really enjoyable event. Obviously, pancake flat and those long straights are fantastic. So, uh, yeah, those are really nice. Well, it's fresh from the prize giving once again, this time with the winner of the uh, women's category, Alison Armstrong. We spoke to your husband beforehand. Yes, <laughs> and <laughs> it was uh, cheering you on today it and cheer cheering you on to a win. Congratulations. Thank Were you happy with how that went? Yeah, I was. I mean, it's really hot conditions, isn't it? But it's. Um, Really flat course, really well supported. Obviously, four laps, you get to see people regularly. So yeah, it's nice seeing him and and all the other Wyndham AC team kind of supporting us on each lap. So it's really good. Yeah, another one of your club mates here. Yeah. Claire was in the five k race. I was in the five k. Yes. How'd you get on? Yeah, good. I was happy. Um, I was in a team, so we all done well. We all got under twenty, so we're happy. Yeah. It's a really good, good evening, nice run. So there we have it, some great running out there tonight. Congratulations to the winners we just spoke to and everybody who finished out there on the Lotus Test Track 10K. Thanks to Harling Athletics Club for hosting us this evening and thanks to Lotus Cars for such a wonderful uh, home for the evening. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that last lap bell to stay up to date with everything we're doing on Sportlink TV. But I did promise you, it's competition time. First of all, congratulations to Donna Jarvis. She was the winner of our Ailsham 10k uh, competition. Uh, Donna's getting a £20 Sportlink voucher to spend on whatever she wants. But tonight, it's Kahu Shoes uh, is the prize. We've got two pairs to give away. One pair of women's, one pair of men's, and uh, they'll come with some Belega socks as well. So those will be winging their way to our lucky winners tonight. Now, I'm going to make you work for this one. You're going to have to know the right answer. Definitely not a no wrong answers question tonight. No, a definite answer to this one. Like I told you earlier, Kahu dominated running at long distance in the 50s and the 60s, particularly the 1952 Olympics. And Emil Zatopek achieved something in that Olympics that nobody has ever matched in the history of distance running. I want to know what it was he did. Nobody's done it since, not Haley Gabriselassi, not uh, Elliot Kipchoge, uh, not Kenanisa Bekele, that none of them, none of them managed it. But uh, Emil Zatopek did it in 1952 and it's not been broken since. So tell me what it was. Thanks very much for being with us. Leave your comments with your answers below us in the uh, comments section. And uh, you've got one week to enter from the time this video is published. Thanks for joining us on Sportlink TV. And don't forget, perfect pace makes the perfect race.